We're down here at the Norfolk Southern tracks here. There is a train waiting to come in, so we can't really get in it. But you can see the two tracks go in. And uh, just like the train that's sitting down there now that you can see, sitting right down there, here or she, I don't know what the engineer is. But you can see the two tracks come in Sparrow. Well, um, one of the trains was sitting up here to go this way. Uh, and the other one was uh, coming in. And they saw, a, uh, they said, a lady in white that was here. Now, I don't know if uh, it was a lady in a white gown, if it was a lady uh, in a white outfit, or if because it was a spirit, it was a white color. But they have uh, a story of where they had to put the brakes on uh, in, the, in the evening, morning more or less, um, and also in the evening, two of the conductors had to ha get out and uh, inspect this area of track here that I'm showing you <laughs> for somebody who they thought was on the tracks. And today we're gonna see if we can get any spirits to come through. We're gonna see if we can get any uh, thing we got our uh, PSB 11 on Is anybody here that would like to speak to us let us know they're here 1950s there was an accident uh, in this area and the tracks were almost the same position coming over the two bridges uh, I guess a derailment or something. And there was also a, a hobo or homeless person or traveler or whatever you want to call them. A lot of them are nice people. We're not making fun of them by saying these names. But it was a train rider. And I guess he jumped off and didn't make it. Uh, that was farther up there by the highway. But between the highway that you see up there... And this bridge, there has been uh, weird things seen. Now we do know of a, a story dealing with the old Paz woodshed, which was right in front of us. Uh, it was torn down. And then it was a strip club where one of the strippers were killed. There was also somebody found on the tracks uh, a prostitute or lady of the night or stripper they said that she was a stripper I, I, I don't know but uh, the person was seen on the tracks found uh, in the late 1980s um, so we do have uh, another story of that such in the 70s of somebody uh, found uh, on the tracks uh, past the bridges, more going downtown area. So the, it does have its share of stories from the railroad and the locals. And we do see where houses were here that was much different. The whole area on the other side of the tracks was incredibly different to the fact that almost 10 houses were torn down. Uh, we had flooding in this area which engulfed a certain amount of area over there that they tore the old paws, woodshed. It used to be a, a, a wood uh, distribution lumber company. Uh, back in the day, they made furniture, and it was a huge source of income for people in this area back in the 60s and 70s and early 80s. And the stories from um, the people that would jump off the trains are here now. If you're a train enthusiast and you're watching this, that train, I'm not sure which one it is. But uh, I know our border. Our border is right here in front of me. I can't go past these weeds. Uh, we can't walk up there and see the train. So I'm just going to stand here. We got our recorder on. It's windy, rainy. Last night we did have a shower come through. Um... And uh, you can put your hood up. It's not going to affect any of the equipment you have, Keith. 
There you go. All right, Keith is behind me. Say hi to everybody, Keith. Hello. Keith is with us today. He just wanted to come up. He laughed at me when I told him that we were going to find something. Until we started hearing voices on our PSB 11. Um, in here we can see that the uh, homeless population uses it. There is some junk here. However, I don't, I don't believe the stories of people jumping off trains and getting hurt and dying. Or bodies being found on tracks. In this area, at least. Because it would be in the newspaper. And these stories were not in the newspaper. Unless they went to cover up something. Which I don't understand what they're trying to cover up. And if you look, there's a hawk flying around over there. I'm just scared off a whole bunch of birds. Pretty interesting. Anyways, we do have a falcon population here. Um, a lot of what you see here, and a lot of what you hear here, BSB 11 just had a female voice come through. I'm getting a voice over here. Our meter that Keith has keeps going off in this area. Now this was, the building was here, the houses were here, but it was all different. You see the road that we're on was different then. The, the fences were not put up. The brush was different. There were old tracks here. There were tracks here where I'm standing. So any of this area could be uh, where the body was found. Uh, and it's not a very nice place to be if you are a person jumping off a train. Uh, not a nice place to be if you're a person jumping anywhere. Uh, riding trains. I don't promote riding trains, but people do it. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, we're just down here. Hello. Uh, hello just came through. Are you with us? And as people know, I am famous for getting stuff in the daytime. So if you're wondering why we're here at 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's going on 5 o'clock right now. Uh, it would be the same, uh, the other side, so to speak, where the ghosts are, the other side. Time does not matter. Please, please what? A female voice saying, please, please what? Come through and talk to us. Come through and talk to us. We would like to talk to you. Come through. getting really badly raining out here been out here for 10 15 minutes now total recording time probably of 10 minutes and the horn just the engine just started up so we're gonna have to move from here if that engine starts coming because I'm not going to be anywhere near these tracks when these trains come through here that can be very dangerous with with what a please and a whiz on our PSB 11. With what? Please with what? You want our help, you have to come through. All right, well, this is the end of our video. Hope you don't, uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. It's getting very bad layout here. The rain is now uh, enough where I'm going to need an umbrella. So we're going to pause our filming for now. We'll be back here a little later when we get our umbrellas. Uh, it's just another misty day here in October in New York. And um, I'm pleased to be here and helping and uh, help again. What, what do you need help with? I guess the spirit needs some help. Anybody here that needs your help, please let us know. We will help you, yes. A please, a help, a help uh, four times, a please. There, there, where? Where are you? You're there? You're here? Uh, there? They're what? They're here to help? Yes, we are here to help. All right, folks, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.